Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm creating a PO Box opening video with all of the little mini mails that I got in. So I have been advised by the post office, um, OzPost, that there's been a lot of delays around the coronavirus. So um, if anyone did send it a little bit later, it may have been in that delay process. Um, so I'm just hoping that they all arrive. But if there's one or two still that hasn't arrived in it, like maybe a month or so, I'll have to create that video with out those ones and I can maybe send a little postcard to those people um, because they didn't get put into the um, competition so basically what's gonna happen is I'm going to open up each little mini mail and I'm gonna put a little number on the screen so make sure you're jotting down your favorite ones and then in the comment section just vote for one mini mail that you think was your favorite and then I'll calculate all the numbers up and then see if we can get a winner. So in part one and part two, there will be two winners. So there will be a overall winner of the whole challenge in part one and part two, and I'll send them across a little package and then there will be a runner up winner as well. So I'll do first and second place in both videos, if that makes sense. All you have to do is just vote for one person though in the comment section and share it with your friends and family if you want other people to vote and join this competition. I'd love to see um, what sort of mini mails you're liking. Please no negative comments. I'll be deleting all negative comments. I want this to be uplifting and everyone to, um, to get a chance to win a little package from me. So let's get on with the video and I'll show you all the little mini mails that were sent. I just wanted to mention two more quick rules before starting. Firstly, only one vote per person, so please don't comment multiple times. I'll only count one of your votes. Secondly, if you were going to share around this video to friends, family, or on your Instagram, um, voting will end the 9th of April, 12 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, and also, fun fact, 9th of April is my birthday. <laughs> Alright, let's get on with the video. Alrighty, so the first mini mail is from Christine Lee from Germany and I've actually written to her multiple times. Oh, this is so cute. So let's get into it. So we've got this little tag. On the back is this little to note and then a little pressed flower. We've also got this little package here, which looks like it has a whole bunch of goodies inside. So we've got a little mini washi tape. It's so tiny. What is this? I think it's a little biscuit. And then we've got some little papers. Stickers. And little animal paper clips. So this one here actually says mini mail. And as you can see, it's about the size of my pointer finger. Now if we open this one up, it's a mini flip book. Oh, I can't wait to see all the little mini flip books. And it's got a beautiful little clip on it and it says hello. So inside this one says smile and it's beautifully designed. <gasps> mini mail inside of mini mails. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's a little sticker. I love the collaging that you've done. Very, very cute. Thank you so much for sending this little mini mail all the way from Germany. The next mini mail is from E. Edwards Moss from the UK. How cool is that? I haven't seen that one. It's Howl's Moving Castle. Little turnip head, little doggy. <gasps> I love that one. <gasps> this is the smallest mini mail I've seen so far. I'm probably going to say this a hundred times, but so far this has been the smallest. And there's a small little wax seal on the back as well. All right. <gasps> I can't wait. Oh my goodness. There is a whole bunch of Ghibli Studio stationery. How cool is that? I love these. Oh, I can't wait to use these. I'm going to make a journal with me with all the little mini mail goodies that arrived. The little letter, I'll read that one afterwards. This one says, have a lovely day. Oh, is that in focus? There you go. Okay, do you know how I just said that was the smallest mini mail ever? It gets smaller. 
It's literally the size of my thumbnail. And it's got a little stickers. That is honestly the smallest nail so far. <gasps> I love it. That's cool. Drinks and food. They actually look like little Japanese drinks and foods. How cool is that? Oh, I love that. This one's so creative. Very much my style. Now this one again has little Studio Ghibli references and it says Dream. And it's a little flip book. Especially for you. It's got washi tape. <gasps> Look, I got the washi tape. Thank you so much for sending me this. I really do appreciate everyone sending me little goodies in this little mini mail challenge. I want to reply back to everyone. I just don't know if I can make 31 mail replies, but I'll try my best to reply back to some of you guys. Little press flower, Totoro. This opens up. <gasps> How cool is that? I'm just going to take a little photo of my Instagram. Thank you so much for this beautiful package. I loved your mini mail and your mini mail. <laughs> Next is this little flip book from Louise from Australia and her Instagram is coffee underscore tea underscore paper. So go check her out if you want to see all her other photos on Instagram. Now I'm just opening this one up and it's got these beautiful orange colors throughout. So I straight away thought of autumn. Now let me open this one up beautiful is that? So this is little washi tape and then we've got these little vintage, oh, it's a little handmade vintage tag, I love that. Adorable little stickers, some more stickers. We've got the letter, beautiful handwriting as well. Oh and then I think this is, oh, this is a homemade, it looks like a traveler's notebook because it's got this little um, band around here. How cool. And it even says, have a nice trip. And that's the traveler's um, factory washi tape. And I absolutely love that it's Winnie the Pooh themed. Anyone who is a Winnie the Pooh fan, I think this might be your favorite mini mail. <laughs> Just like me with Studio Ghibli, but to be honest with you, I am a lover of Winnie the Pooh as well. So I think this is beautifully made. All the little pockets are just adorable. The colors are fantastic. I think you've done an incredible job. Thanks so much for sending this. So this one is from Cecilia from the United States. As I said, it came in the mail like this. And let's see what's inside. So we've got some smiley face stickers. We've got some food stickers with faces on. This little taco with this face is so adorable. Let me just show you what close up. Look how happy they are. I wish my fruit and um, food all smiled at me like that. We've got little pieces of paper in this little made folder. Buttons. Oh, and um, wax for wax stamping. We've got a little letter. So that was obviously the mini mail already and then it came even minier. I love how many your mini mails are going once I open it up. Thank you for being such an inspiration for the snail mail community. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> and then we got some washi samples and some little paper bits. Thank you so much. I'm definitely putting this straight into my journal. How adorable is that? Thank you so much for the little goodies. The mini mail and the mini mail. I'll read your letter after this. This little mini mail is from Singapore and it's from Reborn. Inside is this little mini mail. <laughs> and on the back, I love the way you've designed this. Even with the little running carrots. Can you see guys see that? They've got little feet. And then these little people inside of their 
shop selling tea, I think it is. Little airmaid sticker, airmail sticker, sorry, and this little wax seal stamp, but it's just a sticker. I love that. Sorry, is it going in and out of focus? So we've got these papers. Again, very, very beautiful. I love that style. And this homemade envelope, which has some goodies inside. So we've got this little stamp. It's stamped onto vellum paper, I'm pretty sure. This little man and woman. These little bunny stickers. More little, who is, what's this guy in his name? I always see this everywhere. I even got stickers of him as well. More little stickers. Some papers. Oh, the tiniest washi tape sample ever. <laughs> This one says, um, from Cupid, mail delivery, a little, I can put that one in a little, um, Valentine's Day card, but I just want to show you this little washi tape sample. So this is the smallest washi tape sample I think I've ever received. Thank you so much for sending all of these. This mini mail is from Laura from Spain. Alrighty, so what's inside? So we've got these two washi tape samples. We've got this little sticker. And then we've got these little scenes of, what is that? It's like a little shop, that's cute. And then these jellyfish. I really like those ones. They kind of look like business cards, those two. And then here we've got the mini letter. Very adorable. Thank you so much for sending this. I can't wait to read your letter. This one is from Lily from the United States and it was sent, oh, how cool is that? It's a rainbow washi tape design on the back. I'm gonna have to trim this off because I can't open up every single washi tape. Let me open it up this way. Alrighty, what's inside? Of course, mini SA mails. <laughs> All right, so we've got mini letters. Okay, so what do these say? So we've got tea, miscellaneous, letter, and stickers. We've got adorable stickers in these ones. And I might actually keep this little envelope. How adorable these little stickers. I especially love this little teddy bear and a bee. <laughs> very, very cute. Thank you. These little envelopes look handmade. Alrighty, what's inside? We've got a tiny book. <laughs> Alrighty, and we've got a star washi tape sample. That's a cool idea. Alright, let's see what's in this tiny book. So, the tiny book says, my friend. <gasps> it's me! <laughs> it's me opening mini mails! Oh my goodness, that made me so happy. <laughs> I love that, thank you. We've got an adorable playlist. I'm definitely putting this straight into my journal. Hello, take me. Take what? Oh, what's in, I don't get it. Take me. Oh, I think you can pull that one off. That's cool. And then that's you. Oh, I love this. Your drawings are gorgeous. How cool is that? So inside of the tea envelope, we've got green teas and a sweet and spicy. <laughs> Thank you so much for this. I absolutely love the little book that you made, especially the little pictures that you drew inside. That's so lovely, thank you. This next letter is from Irma from Lithuania. Now, I don't actually get many letters from Lithuania and fun fact, my sister actually traveled across Europe and wanted to move there because she thought it was such a beautiful place and she also met someone from there so she was going to live there permanently. I'm lucky to have her here in Australia though. I'm honestly glad she didn't move over there permanently but um, I always wanted to check out this country and go traveling there because I've heard it's very, very beautiful. Alrighty, what have we got inside? So we've got this tea and I have no idea what it says because it's in a different language <laughs> but there's a little peach and lemon on the front so I'm guessing it's a peach and lemon flavoured tea. We've also got some washi tape and then 
like you've all been doing so far, sending me mini mails inside of your mail. All right, so let's open this up and see what's inside. So I just found this little card that has their Instagram and a small business website on it. Okay, so inside the mini mail is the letter and I'm just gonna show you really quickly the beautiful handwriting. Look how amazing that is. And then these two little folders, which I have no idea what is inside. I think it's little folders to add maybe to a journal. And they've got these stamps on the front as well. I really like those stamps. Thank you so much for sending this little mini mail. And I can't wait to try the tea as well. Thank you. I just realized there was something else in the letter that I didn't see. I think it's got a whole bunch of goodies inside. Let me just pour this out and see. Oh, wow, there's a lot. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. I think it's a cinema ticket. That's cool. I'm gonna put that in my journal. We've got stickers and little airmail stickers. And I think these are stamps and little pictures of maybe your hometown. Thank you. How cool is that? Oh, I love it. Thank you so much for all the goodies. So I have no idea if this one is actually part of the mini mail challenge because it's quite big. This is actually from Lauren. She's also from Australia. So I'm going to open it up anyway and put a number next to it if you guys want to vote on this one as well. Um, and I will double check my email to see if she said that she was going to participate um, because as... I'm pretty sure this arrived just before all the mini mails started coming in. I'm not 100% sure, but hey, we'll chuck it in there anyway. Um, and at least I can open it up on camera. But this does not look like a mini mail. So it actually looks like it's Alice in Wonderland themed. So she might have sent it to me after watching my Alice in Wonderland um, snail mail that I made. Um, I think it was a few months back now. But yeah, this definitely looks like it might just be a regular mail. <laughs> um, so thank you so much for sending this. And I'm sorry that I haven't opened this up earlier. I put it in the snail mail pile. I mean the mini mail pile. This is so cool. I think that's the letter. And then what's inside of here? It's like a gigantic... Oh, <gasps> that is so cool. I've never seen anything like this before. So Studio Ghibli, um, like tarot cards. How cool is that? I'm definitely putting that straight into my journal. Sealed with magic. Oh, I love this. We've got stickers. Let me see. Oh, Alice in Wonderland. Oh my goodness. These look handmade. Are these handmade? Please let me know. I hope they, it says it in the letter. This is so cool. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure this isn't part of the mini mail challenge. Oh, how cool is that? It's like a little magic flip book. We've got teas and more extras. Yeah, definitely not part of the challenge. Um, this is cool. I've never seen these stickers before. Please tell me where you got them from. The cat from Totoro. Cat bus. <gasps> more papers. Studio Ghibli papers. And then Alice in Wonderland cards. How cool is this? I think you made a better Alice in Wonderland snail mail package than I did, to be honest with you. I love it. Thank you so much, Lauren. Um, I just read the letter. Now this isn't part of the mini mail challenge. This is just a beautiful flip book that was sent to me in the mail. So I really, really do appreciate it. So we've got another letter from Singapore and this is from Yi Lin, I think it print, 
it's pronounced. Um, I've probably botched that name though, but um, beautiful mail art on the front. I absolutely adore this. I think this is actually just ripped up paper. Um, and these stamps here are so cute as well. A little 70 cent one. So let's see what's inside. Alrighty, so, oh, something fell out. So we've got the letter. What's all this? Oh, how pretty. Oh, it's a little package. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Do you know how in one of the other mails someone made a little traveler's notebook? Look at this one. It's an even tinier traveler's notebook. Little traveler's notebook sticker there. So cute. Oh my goodness. It actually says Traveller's Company in the front page. I don't know if you can see that. And it's got little adorable lines. <gasps> is this real? I don't know if this has just been printed or not. I think it's handmade. Love that. That is so cute. Thank you. There's also these little mini washi samples and they're so teeny tiny as well. Look how small these are. This little envelope with a little wax seal on the top. And I think it's full of stickers. Oh, I love these little sticker girls. I'd love to know what artists these are. And then we've got little papers. So pretty. Thank you so much. The style is absolutely gorgeous. It definitely is my aesthetic. All right, let me see if I can get this in focus. This is so lovely. It's another little handmade book. I feel like it's Christmas all over again. With washi samples. Oh, washi samples throughout the entire book, I think. Love that design. Oh my goodness, I think it's actually to store all your washi tapes. I can do an entire book of just washi tape samples. Thank you, this is such a lovely idea. How sweet is that? Oh, I can't get over this really cute, adorable little traveler's notebook. And then next, we've got another little package with a wax seal on and this beautiful string that's tying it all together. And this looks like a little homemade envelope. Oh, what's that? I think that's a little face mask. I can't wait to use these. Oh, I've seen these ones before. And then we've got some papers. All of this stationery is absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait to read through your letter. Thank you so much. Next is from Roxy from the UK and I just wanted to show you the back of it without showing the address. But this is such an adorable um, wax seal stamp. It's a little love heart and I'm really liking that pink color. So let's see what's inside. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. All right, so it says hello, and there's a little envelope on the front. Again, this really lovely pink heart um, wax stamp. Let me peel that one off. I'm already loving it. I haven't looked inside. Oh, this is so cute. I like it. All right, so we've got this little green tea. Um, and I really like the layout of this one. I might have to steal the idea. We've got, I'm guessing this is a letter and it says my name. And then this says, embrace your creative soul. And inside of here looks like an even tinier little flip book. I absolutely adore this little bunny here. All right, what's inside? So we've got some stickers, I think, on this side. Let me just open it up again. All right, so we've got washi tape. And it's made using the envelope 
um, style, so one envelope after the other. Inside here we've got little butterflies. And then on this side, some more little goodies. Thank you so much. This is so lovely. And as I said, I might have to steal this design because it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. The colour palettes are so cute. I love the pinks and purples in this theme. Thank you so much for sending me something. Green tea is actually one of my favourites, so I can't wait to drink it and read your letter. Thank you. This next one is from Janelin from Canada. Now, it did come in a bigger envelope that's down here. But I opened it up and then there was a mini mail inside. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Go wild for a while. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is so lovely. Oh, how cool is that? So these are pics from camp, so camping. There's a little Instagram, so I'll go on and check it out. Oh my god, look how teeny tiny this letter is. It says, open me. <laughs> um, what does it say? Oh, it's a little quote. A little playlist. Some goodies, some pictures. A tent. Oh, I'm going to have to recreate this one. This is so adorable. Oh, I love these stickers. Let me just pop this down and let's see what's... So we've got a little backpack, a guitar. Oh, I love camping. I can't wait to use these. I'm definitely putting these in my travel notebook. Even the washi tape is like adventure themed. This is so cool. Thanks so much for these. I can't wait to use them. How cool is that? And they're so miniature. <laughs> oh, they say from Pinterest. I love this tiny little writing. So she said that she's been watching my videos for two and a half years. I don't even know how long I've been on YouTube now for. I think maybe three years. So pretty much at the start. So thank you so much. Um, I appreciate you guys letting me know um, that this the videos have been inspiring you. Now I've just looked up her Instagram. Very, very pretty. So I can't wait to see more letters from you. I've just started following you. This next letter is from Rachel from the USA and it is a really cute package. The letter is in here so I'll read this one in a second. But it's got the most adorable little peg here. Um, and it says goodies on it. So I love the designing on this one and These flowers are so beautiful this design here. So let's open this up So the first little package says tea <laughs> And then we've got Oops This ribbon that's wrapped around it Alrighty, what's this first one here? Oh, this is cool. I think there's some homemade stickers inside. Let me check. I love how creative you guys are with the packaging. Always very, very creative. All right, let's see. Oh, these are so lovely. Thank you. And they match the theme of your snail mail perfectly. Especially this cute little fox here. <laughs> Thank you. Alrighty, so, oh, how lovely is this? It's a little recipe card. Strawberry shortcake muffins. Oh, I can't wait. And it's actually come at the perfect time since we're all isolated in our homes. I've been doing a little bit of baking, so I'll check, um, I'll actually try to see if I can recreate this one. Um, and I'll let you guys know how it goes. <laughs> I love that, thank you. This one sounds like it's got some glitter inside. So let's hope that it doesn't glitter explode on my bed. Oh, it's seeds that I could hear. Oh, it actually says garden surprise for you. And then it's got the seeds for the planting and then it's got the food to make. And then we've got obviously little strawberries. And then this letter has fruits all over it as well. 
Um, so it's like a little garden theme. Although this one's not part of the mini mail challenge, thank you so much Rachel for sending me something in the mail. Never mind, I just realized this is the mini mail she sent me. So this is from Rachel as well. There was just two envelopes sent um, around the same time. So this is the mini mail. This is actually mini compared to my hand. Um, so let's see what's inside this one. It might be another garden theme. Alrighty, so we got this beautiful little, I'm guessing a little flip book inside. Oh, how cute. <laughs> so we've got an adorable washi tape sample. And then, what's in here? Stamps and extras. Oh, they match the spring theme from the last one. I love those ones. All right, let me put those down. Oh, that one's adorable. I can't wait to use them. And then on this side, got some butterflies, a little tea and a rose. Thank you so much. This design is really nice. I actually might steal this idea too. <laughs> so that is the little mini mail. This is so cute. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Alrighty. So this is Lucky Last, Samantha from New Zealand. Let's see what's inside. This letter apparently only cost $2.60 to arrive. And this is actually the envelope that it arrived in. So quite small if you see the size of my hand compared to the envelope. Very tiny. All right. What do we have here? Oh, I see another little mini tiny flip book. <gasps> and cacti. You guys used to send me a lot of cacti. So it died off a little, the cacti sending, when I um, made my PO box not open to the public. But I love that some of you guys still remember my love of cacti. How do I open this? How creative is that? It's a little handmade print. And I don't know, I think that's watercolor. And then a little signature and a date on the back. Alrighty, I don't know what to open first. There's so many little goodies inside. All right, so that's the letter there. So I'll pop that one up there with a little print. And then this looks like a little goodies bag. This looks like a really tiny uh, mini mail. We've got mini notes, beautiful tags. We've got a little Instagram. So I'll go check out our Instagram in a second. And then we've got a really small mini flip book. So what am I going to open up first? Let's, I'll show you the tags first. These are beautiful, aren't they? We've also got this little mini notebook. That looks handmade as well. So pretty. Thank you. I love that one. Hey. Hey Arnold. And there's more goodies inside. So, eh, I can't open this. Eh, I can't get it out. It's kind of stuck. Urgh, okay, it's washi samples. <laughs> and then oh, a little picture of a Totoro. Can you guys see that? That's so cute. And then it flips open again. And then Oh, that's really cool. I think that's a stamp. And what's in these ones? Little stickers. Thank you so much. How cute is that? I love that so much. Bye. So this was like a little origami pocket. And it's got little um, clips inside. Thank you. Lots of goodies inside. Another little homemade envelope. A teeny tiny one. And then a bunch of goodies. Oh, I love all the little origami. Look at that. I'm going to have to put all of these in my journal. Thank you. Can't wait to read through your letter. This one's definitely going on the front page of one of my journals. And then we've got this little notebook that's handmade. And I'll go check out the Instagram right now. But I love this so much. And this little book is so cute. Let me go check out your Instagram. Thanks, Samantha. I've just found your Instagram. So I've just followed you. If anyone else wants to go check out um, Samantha's Instagram, it's samantha.happy.mail. So there you go. Now that's all the mails for today. So thank you everyone who sent me something in the mail. That's the end of part one. 
go pick a winner. Um, so make sure that you vote your favorite male. I'm going to announce both the winners, probably on my Instagram, maybe on my YouTube channel as well, but I'll definitely email the two winners across. So they'll be first and second place for this video. So go vote in the comment section and also let me know if you have any more community challenge ideas. Love to host some more for you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.